Here's a public speaking tip for Boris Johnson or for anybody else who's worried that they might lose their place when giving a speech. Um, so what was I going to say next? Oh, um, forgive me. Um, forgive me. It was embarrassing, wasn't it? Um, and it's unnecessary. Uh, and here's a little tip, um, which, you know, Boris Johnson can take note of if he wants. I believe that he must watch this channel because some of the satirical nonsense from Lord Tory Tory, such as uh, that Brexit enabled British clubs to break free from the European Super League, appeared first on this channel and then a few days later came out of Boris Johnson's mouth at Prime Minister's Question Time. So, um, Mr Johnson, if you're watching, here's a tip, but for you and for others. So let's suppose that you might be, you, that you have a fear that you might get to that awful moment where you think, what on earth am I supposed to be doing next? Either you've muddled your pages, I mean, maybe staple them together, to avoid that. But anyway, suppose that you've had some disaster happen in your speech, uh, as Boris Johnson did in his speech to the CBI in South Shields. Here's how you can solve the problem. You ask the audience a question. It can be very simple. So, for example, what does levelling up mean to you? Talk to the person, turn to the person next to you and just explain to them what levelling up means to you. Ask them what they think. Uh, just share your ideas. Now, um, that would be a relatively unusual thing to do, probably in a CBI speech. But hey, Boris Johnson, Mr Johnson, Prime Minister, you're happy to do unusual things, aren't you, to surprise people? Um, that, that wouldn't be a problem. And when you do that, people will follow your instruction. Because many of them think it's an interesting thing to do. Some of them think it's a pain in the neck. But the people who think it's a pain in the neck have got somebody next to them who turns to them and says, oh, well, I think levelling up is that, so engages them in the conversation. You, as the speaker, leave them to it. You do whatever you need to do. You know, take your time, uh, get it done properly to get yourself sorted out uh, and get your, get your notes in order. OK, so having done that, you're now ready to go. You know exactly what you're going to do next. However, you gave the audience a task and so now you need to honour that. Which is very straightforward. You say, well, now I asked you what does levelling up mean to you? What about, who's, who would like to give me a, 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 you know, what they thought of that? Uh, what did you think, for example? What did you think? You draw a couple of answers from the audience and then make some contrast. Um, so you could say, for example, ah, it's interesting. So in that first case, levelling up was about financial issues. But the second one was about much deeper values. Uh, much more significant values. Or, you know, or it might be that you say, right, so in both of those cases, people thought that levelling up was about financial matters. But is it more than that? And so you've now honoured the discussion that's just happened. It may even have, uh, have helped you. Um, and you go on with your, with your talk, uh, but just make some reference to that little audience interaction at some point. And now you may think well, that's all very well, but you know, Mike, you came up with that question, what does levelling up mean to you? Um, how would you, you know, suppose you couldn't think of something like that uh, in the heat of the moment? That's easy. You're going to give the talk. You just have your emergency questions ready. One little piece of card, always visible to you. That's your, you know, <laughs> your, your 999. If I'm in trouble, ask this question. And then you can, you know, you can work out in advance some questions that you can use if appropriate. Um, you know, you can do more than one if you need. Um, but it will completely get you off the hook. It will avoid you having to say, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. Uh, it will actually energise the audience. Um, it's, you know, <laughs> could make a separate case that it's a good thing to do anyway, um, as opposed to just a, uh, an emergency um, uh, an emergency cord to uh, pull to get you out of trouble um, and it will be memorable and you know it may well add to the points that you're going to make. So there you are, simple answer to avoid forgive me, forgive me, forgive me and then 
coming out with some with some um, inappropriate nonsense about Peppa Pig, uh, which is situated in Southampton, which is about as far from South Shields as you can get. So it's not surprising that none of them had been there. There's a tip. Do feel free to use it. No credits required. Hope that's been helpful, Prime Minister. Thank you. Oh, and do subscribe to the channel, Britannia Waves the Rules, if you'd like more ideas. Uh, though this video is a little bit unusual, I'm not usually giving public speaking tips. Thank you.